Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com with a spring prophecy update giving you my input as to where I believe that we're at as it concerns the closing of the church age. I believe spring to be the most likely of the four seasons as far as the rapture is concerned. Now today is May the 5th of 2019 and it was on this day, this very day, according to Torah calendar, that God said, let there be light. May 5, 3980 BC, creation day one. So today begins creation week, which it extends until May 11, where God rested on the seventh day, the Sabbath, which just happens to be true Pentecost this year on the biblical calendar. The creation of Adam being on the sixth day, May 10, so Let's look at the significance of these two days, May 10 and 11, since the days overlap on the Hebrew calendar. So May 10 and 11 have the following facts associated with them. Adam's creation and God resting on the Sabbath. The two dates this year coincide with the Sabbath, May 11 being Pentecost. Now that's not the Pentecost of, of Western imagination, uh, which is June 9, uh, which is calculated from the Western date of Easter, but true Pentecost 50 days after Passover. On May 10, AD 70, Siege of Jerusalem, Titus, son of Emperor Vespas uh, Vespasian, he begins a full-scale assault on the city. It was also on this day that George Washington was named Supreme Commander by the Second Continental Congress in 1775. It was also on this day that the Nazis in 1933 staged massive public book burnings and on this day in 2013 one world trade center becomes the tallest building in the western hemisphere that's right it became the tallest building in the western hemisphere which as we know is no longer there and why is it no longer there well it's no no longer there because the world changed forever on September 11 2001 the very day the very day of our Lord's birth according to Torah calendar which is not a coincidence and it is this global war on terror which resulted in the one of the most the major prophecies I believe of scripture concerning the end times which is not a coincidence the revival of the Ottoman Empire, the Islamic Caliphate, of which Bible, Bible prophecy refers to as the deadly wound that was healed. It's not some man, that some antichrist, that gets uh, shot in the head with a, a real bullet and then miraculously comes to life. This is symbolic. The deadly wound that was healed is symbolic of the revived Ottoman Empire, which will not end until our Lord returns and puts an end to it. You might think of the global war on terror as the war that, that will never be won, at least not according to uh, the standards of how most wars are, a, a victory is achieved, or how it's been achieved in the past. May 10, is also when Israel also celebrates her Independence Day. Concerning that caliphate, 
the goal of this caliphate is global dominance, not just about almost no one would argue that. The means of achieving that goal is death and destruction, including the execution of beheading. The global spread of this prophetic ideology, if you could call it that, that's kind of a nice term, should be deafening to the ears of most Christians and nations and world leaders, but it's not. One of the greatest end times markers was 9-11, folks. Christians today are basically divided into three camps. Watchers, scoffers, and those who lie outside those two extremes out of ignorance or indifference. One says, look up for your redemption draws nigh. One says, don't worry about it, just go on with your life. Lord, he, the Lord, he'll get here when he gets here. And the other, well, the other has nothing whatsoever to say about it. Now, what group do you think the Lord is speaking through? Personally, I believe the greatest sign of our Lord's near return is, is not natural disaster, famine or disease, lawlessness or war, or, or even an emerging global new world order. I believe the greatest sign of our Lord's return, folks, is us. The watchman on the wall sounding the alarm. The world didn't hear that alarm sounding in past decades, but it, it really began to sound after 9-11, 2001. That was 18 years ago. Now, a fig tree generation is 70 years, but it could be 80 with strength. Now, we have now gone past the 70. We've entered into what I believe is the final decade before the Messiah returns. It has been exactly 70 years, 11 months, and 19 days since Israel was reborn as a nation. This May 14th will complete the 71st year. The 80-year generation mark in 2028 will mark 20, 30 years since Jesus was born. Now, folks, I trust Torah calendar, I always have. The first... Passover, one week after Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. This was uh, marked by a, a total lunar eclipse. I was kind of shocked when I saw that. The spring date was April 13. If the rapture was to occur this year on Pentecost, May 11th, the day that Israel celebrates having received the law on Mount Sinai. Jesus would return seven years later on the very day that God spoke the worlds into existence. The very day that God said, let there be light. Creation day one. Now I was asked about the 2024 American solar eclipse. Steve, what about the second eclipse that crosses out America? I'm persuaded that that eclipse will occur inside the tribulation period. It's highly unlikely given the time frame that we're in that it'll occur before the rapture or occur inside the kingdom age, the thousand year millennium. Now I'm not fond of the idea that the rapture will occur in 2028 at the 80 year marker. It may very well go that far. But I really doubt that that's what we're looking at. I believe the 80-year 2028 marker may mark the return of the Messiah where that the church was raptured seven years prior in 2021. Now, I first projected the idea of a 2021 departure in a video in 2018 called Thinking Outside the Box. Many of you may remember that. And it wasn't very popular at the time. But, with the passing of time, many are beginning to look more closely at that year. 
According to Torah calendars creation year of 3980 BC, 2021 will mark the end of the 6,000 years that Adam was given dominion by God. I just believe that we've entered into the final decade and the rapture could occur at any time inside this final decade of 2018 to 2028. In the meantime, I will continue preaching a pure, unabashed gospel that God came to save His people from their sins, that we are redeemed solely based upon what Christ did, not something that we must do, which, oddly, isn't very popular among those who profess to know Him, even those who are anxiously awaiting His return. I will continue doing that because I believe that is the right thing to do. I will continue doing that because I believe that is the best way of redeeming the time until our Lord returns. I want to encourage you all to, con to consider that our Lord's triumphant entry into Jerusalem, the only day that He presented Himself as King, was foretold exactly to the day, to the very day, 173,880 days from when it was foretold to occur. This is Steve. I love you all. I truly do. Thanks for watching.